Welcome back to Todd in Sydney. My name is Jeff. Today we're talking about the traditional way of reading the steps on how to tie a necktie. There's a shorthand model that was created and it's something that's very easy to learn. It's very easy to read and then you'll know, always know that you're making the correct steps and putting your necktie together. Very simple. A uh, good analogy would be a musician. Good musicians who can, you know, a lot of them can just play and a lot of you, you have, it's mechanical when you tie your necktie. However, sometimes you want to play a very specific piece. So you read the sheet, sheet music. It's the same thing here. Uh, knowing how to read the shorthand on how to tie these neckties, you can be certain that you're always going to be tying the best necktie knot for the shirt that you're wearing, for the occasion that you're attending, or the tie that you've chosen to wear. The premise being that the Windsor knot is not always the most appropriate choice. So if all you ever tie is the Windsor, I think you're limiting yourself in a lot of different ways. Uh, I've worn this particular shirt with this collar to make that point. I'm going to step closer so you can have a look. A Windsor necktie, a uh, Windsor knot, is known for its equilateral triangular shape. However, if you're wearing a shirt collar that's pointier than your standard width collars, you're actually cutting down the edges of your Windsor necktie knot. So if the Windsor is not working for the shirt collar that you've chosen, or the necktie that you've chosen, what can you do? Well, there's different types of knots that you tie. There's two classifications on necktie knots. One is the what's known as a symmetric necktie knot. It makes that equilateral triangular shape. The other is known as asymmetric. So this would be what's known as the oriental or the small knot. It's an asymmetric necktie knot. And you can see that it fills this particular shirt collar a lot better. It's much more appropriate. It looks better. So that's what you want to be looking at. And, and the point that I'm making here is that it's not just the Windsor's your only option. Sometimes your shirt collar is not going to be appropriate. So you want to think about this when you're tying your necktie knot. So in the book, The 85 Ways to Tie a Necktie, um, Young Mao, Thomas Fink, uh, they were looking at how to mathematically demonstrate ways of tying a necktie. And they put some conditions on the start of the necktie knot and the finish. So with these particular knots, they always get tied with the blade of the necktie knot. The blade is always on the right hand side, the tail will be on your left hand side. And how much length you have available on your left hand side is also going to be de determined by a few different things. One is the number of steps in the necktie knot. So the oriental knot is very short. There's, there's four moves, okay? Uh, it's a very small, uh, very, it, it's using a very small amount of fabric. Uh, in addition to how many moves and how much fabric you're using, you're also going to have to think about your width of your collar. So I have a 15 and a half collar. You also uh, need to think about whatever length your tie might be. Is it a standard necktie or is it an extra long necktie? So there is always going to be trial and error in getting the length right. But the length of the tie, you always want that to end right at your belt line. Okay? If it's significantly above your belt line, retie it, guys. You're not there yet. And if it hangs down below your, your belt line, retie it. You're not there. Uh, I see a lot of guys walking down the street, and that's the first thing I notice is how long is their tie. Uh, anyway, when we're, when we're thinking about the starting position now, there's two different ways that they would start. They would either start like this, with the seam side is facing in, or they might start with the seam side facing out. The oriental knot, or the small knot, begins with the seam side facing out. So in the shorthand, the very first move is L-O, left out of the diagram. So whenever you see L-O as the first move, you know that it's starting with the seam side out. L-I, left into the diagram, you're starting with the seam facing in. Okay, I'll give you an example. If I've got the seam facing in, and I do left out of the diagram, right in to the diagram, you'll see that the seam is on the outside and that's what's making my knot. That doesn't look good. So we're starting seam side out, left, when it says left out of the diagram, you're just essentially crossing over the blade. So left out of the diagram and then your hand switch. Now it's right into the diagram. Okay, so it looks like that. Then we're going to have center out of the diagram 
and then through. So we go through the loop we've created. And then just pull up on the back, tighten until you're happy, and then you just pull that up into place. Collar down. And you've tied the small knot, or the oriental necktie knot. Thanks again for tuning in to Tied Up in Sydney. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how to tie a tie, more specifically, how to read the steps. Again, I demonstrated for you when not to tie a Windsor. So if you have any shirt collars like this one and you've been tying a Windsor, maybe you start to think about finding another way of tying your necktie. You can start with the small knot like this one. I, in the description of this video, I've included all 13 classical ways to tie a necktie knot described in that uh, the 85 ways to tie a tie book. Um, I've got the shorthand down there for you as well. You can feel free to print that off, put it up on your wardrobe. That's where I do it. I uh, have it right there. That way I'll never be at a loss of the different steps of tying a necktie knot. Click right here and subscribe, guys, because I'm going to take you through each of these necktie knots. Um, I'm going to talk about the collars that they work best with, the suits that they work best with, the occasions they work best with. So don't miss out. Make sure that you subscribe. Uh, right down here, you can see the, 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 you can click right here and see more videos just like this one about reading the different steps to tie a necktie knot. And then right up here in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, you can click that and you can see some of my creations. <laughs>